Hit Film Sensei here. Today we're going to make an instant universe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating a new composite shot. Uh, and I'm going to call it Instant Universe. Click OK. Uh, now we're going to start by making a stars background. I'm going to create a new layer, plain layer. Make sure it's black. Call it stars and click OK. So now I could show you how to basically build this from scratch, but there's really no need to do that. What you want to do is go to InscapeDigital.com. They have tutorials there, products, all kinds of really great stuff, but also a preset marketplace. Click on that tab, and I'll leave a link in the description below, uh, and then just scroll down. You can see all the different things that they have available for you to download and use. But one of them is right here, stars. If you download that preset from Inkscape Digital, and then when you go to hit film, you just import it into your preset folder. It's called stars. And then just drag that and drop it right onto the plane. Let me tell you something. You aren't going to get a better star field than that. That is beautiful. It's fantastic. And that's all you'll really need. Now let's talk about making a planet. If you go to google.com and you type in planet textures and then look for the images, look at all of these things that you can choose from. I mean, you have all kinds of planets, ice planets, jungle planets, planets that look like Earth, planets that look like Jupiter, uh, moon planets. I mean, you name it, you're going to find some really nice textures that you can use in terms of creating a planet texture. So you bring one of those in. Now, I did something a little different. Instead, I just went outside and I took a picture of the sky with clouds in it with my cell phone. I dropped it right in here. And then all you have to do is look for the sphere effect and drop that right on there and poof, instant planet, okay? But you can do it however you want. You can use whatever textures you want. Play with that, have fun. Now let's talk about making a moon. I have a moon texture that I found online somewhere, and there it is. It's a lovely moon, albeit a bit square. I don't think moons are normally that square. So again, we're going to add our texture or our sphere effect I mean, to it. But it's a little big. The radius is set, a preset at 200 pixels. If I knock that down to about 50, makes a nice looking moon right there. Uh, and we have our moon. Now let's talk about making a sun. I like to put a sun on its own plain layer. So plain layer, I'm going to call it sun. And it's sort of covering everything right now. I'm going to move it behind the moon and planet. So it's just covering the stars now. But we really do want those stars to shine through. So what I'm going to do is in the controls, layer properties, uh, not alignment, blend mode, screen. And now it lets those stars shine through. And what we're going to do is we're just going to find a flare effect to add. And we're going to drop that right on that plane. And there is an instant sun for our instant universe. And I'll tell you what, you can you know, play with that, and adjust that, make the sizes different, change the coloring of the plants. Whatever you want to do from there, it's all just about having fun, tweaking and playing. But basically, that's it in a nutshell. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, put it, you know, put your, if you come up with a nice little instant universe, drop it in the comments. I'd love to see it. Or put it up on hitfilm.com's forum uh, as well. Love to see it there. Otherwise, thanks for watching.